Hi everyone, I am Amolya, your education counsellor at MS in Germany. In this video, we are going to talk about the differences between technical universities, the TUs and the FH universities or the universities of applied sciences. So let's begin. Technical universities, as the name suggests, are more technical, they are more research oriented, whereas the FH universities or the universities of applied sciences are more on the practice oriented side. If you ask me which one is more tougher, the TUs or the FH, I'll say the TU is much tougher than the FH universities. This is because it will take a lot longer time than the FH universities in the technical universities for you to finish your course because it is more of the research work and it takes some time. In the FH universities, you'll have a lot of internships to do. You'll be trained by a lot of skilled and experienced people in the industry who are already there to train you for your job out there. In technical universities, you can complete your PhD later after you completed the course duration of your master's course because you've already completed all the required credits in your masters but for extra credits you'll just have to extend a year or so so that you can complete your phd as well and i guess that's great this is because many students especially from india want to complete their phd from germany as well so they go for the technical universities on the other hand fh universities are for those students who just want to complete their masters for the sake of getting a job so if you are a person who just wants to get a job after completing their masters who doesn't want to study for a longer period of time you can go for the fh universities and to be honest Technical universities can also give you the same exposure, same experience as you get in the FH universities. It is not like only FH universities train you for the physical world out there, train you for the job world out there. Technical universities also provide you with a lot of seminars, they provide you with a lot of workshops conducted by a lot of people who are very skilled and experienced in the industry so that you can be prepared for your job afterwards. So my suggestion is don't go for FH universities if you are thinking that FH universities are the only ones who will get you a job because technical universities are also providing you with all these similar experiences so that you can get help in your job in the future. Another major difference between the TUs, technical universities and the FH, the universities of applied sciences is that in the technical universities you will get a lot of electives to choose from, you will get a lot of subjects to choose from. Whereas in the FH universities you won't get a lot of subjects like the social studies and humanities etc. Hey, myth buster, a lot of students believe that only FH universities get you a job. I've said this earlier and I'm repeating it again that FH universities can get you a job, technical universities can also get you a job. What matters the most is you. What do you have in yourself? What skills do you possess? How strong is your profile? How well are you preparing for your interview? How are you presenting yourself in your interview? That is all what matters at last because the people who are looking for people to join in their company are looking for skilled people who are really good at what they do and they're not focused on whether they're from a technical university or an FH university. So my advice is when you are making a choice between the TUs, the technical universities and the FH, that is the University of Applied Sciences, you need to keep in mind what you like, what you will prefer in your future. Do you want to study for a longer period of time or not? Do you like experiments or research work or not? Do you want to just get a job or do you want to go into the deeper studies? So that is all you need to consider. Just go through the course structures of the universities and the courses that you are wishing to apply for and then choose wisely what is right for you. Don't go for the choices that other people are making. Don't follow the others because what is right for you is only going to take you forward and not what is right for others. So yeah, that was all from my side, everyone. I hope I answered all your questions. I hope everything is clear now. If you still have any doubts, you can just let us know in the comment section down below. Also, you can suggest some new topics for us to make a video on so that you can get more clarity on how to pursue your master's in Germany. So like this video, comment down below. What do you think about it? Comment down below your suggestions. Don't forget to share this video to the friends who are planning to study their masters in Germany. And yeah, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any updates because we are going to post videos every week for you to prepare for your masters in Germany. Bye, take care.